mic check one two one two welcome back to faith's oven thank you guys for coming back so today in faith's oven i actually made some red beans and rice i love red beans and rice you guys but i also made cornbread a blue cornbread i don't know if you guys have ever tried blue corn whether it be in the chip form the tortilla form or cornbread anyway i hope this recipe in this video makes you want to try it go ahead and give it a go this is faith's oven blue corn cornbread you guys how much do you guys love red beans and rice? If you guys want to give my recipe a go, go ahead and check the description box down below. Check the description box for that recipe. And also I have the easiest stove top white rice, jasmine rice recipe. So all those recipes will be in the description box down below you guys. Let me go ahead and hit you guys with one more shameless plug. My yellow <laughs> cornbread. I don't know if you guys have tried that recipe. It's a pretty popular uh, recipe on my channel. But if you guys just want good old plain yellow cornbread, that uh, recipe will also be in the description box down below for you. All right, let's get into making this a recipe. So we're going to need some organic blue cornmeal, if you guys can find it. I found mine at the farmer's market, and we're going to need one cup of that. We'll need one cup of flour, and we'll need two-thirds cup of sugar. Now, I know it's very debatable about sugar and cornbread. For me personally, I like sugar in my cornbread. That's how I grew up with it, so that's what I'm going to have. If you don't want sugar, you can skip it. Do, it, do how you do. You'll also need to add a teaspoon of salt and three teaspoons of baking powder. That baking powder is what's going to make our cornbread rise, so don't skip it, y'all. Then we're going to need two-thirds cup of oil. Now, this is the first time I've did two-thirds cup of oil, but my cornbread came out so wonderfully moist that I won't skip it, and I'll probably do it this way from now on. One egg and one cup of milk. Then you guys want to give it a good mix. Give it a good stir, 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 stir. You don't need a mixer. You just use your hand. Or see, like me, I use a fork. Y'all know I love to stir, stir with my fork. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, my oven is already preheated to 425 degrees, you guys. 425. Because this um, cornbread will cook not too long, which is awesome. All right, go ahead and grease your pan. I actually added parchment paper at the bottom of my pan just because, you know, we don't want it to stick at all. And we go ahead and give her a good pour. Pour into your pan. And we're going to cook for about 22 minutes, you guys. Check your cornbread at about 17 minutes. See where you're at. I have a convection bake oven. You know all ovens are different. But go ahead, add it to the oven. Check on her. Make sure she doesn't burn. Mine cooked for right at about 22 minutes. But you make sure you check yours at about 17 minutes. 17 minutes you guys and that's it um, your cornbread is all finished and done probably within 30 minutes from getting your ingredients out mixing and putting her into the oven such an easy cornbread oh and don't forget the butter you guys know I'm such a butter girl so you got to poke the holes in the top of your cornbread and add that butter and add some more butter and more butter it's like butter baby um, and <laughs> you will have the most moist delicious soft texture cornbread um, with a nice crunch at the top uh, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe I truly hope you try it don't just watch the video but go ahead and try it but thank you for the view <laughs> anyway God bless you guys don't forget to check the description box down below for all the other recipes the red beans and rice uh, the rice recipe and my yellow cornbread recipe all right, God bless you guys, and thank you so much for watching Fate Seven. Well, thank you guys for staying to the end. Thank y'all for watching this video. I truly hope you guys try this recipe. It's delicious, it's delightful. And don't forget to check the description box down below so that you can get other recipes, other videos from my channel. All right, God bless you guys, Fate Seven.